Hey guys, and welcome back to Fallout 4. I'm here with Ada, because we are about to head off to General Atomic's factory. So we can fast travel to Gwinnett Brewery, which isn't cleared, so we might have some interruptions along the way. But uh, at Atomic... General Atomic's? Yes, at General Atomic's we are going to hopefully run into some robots and destroy them. Uh, we don't need to go there, so let's avoid going there and head this way. Toward the door. No? No, that's a different door. How about we select that? There we go. I hear you, Milek. Maybe I'll block my damage, but you can't block the bleeding. Oh, come on. What? You're just gonna... Wimp out? Gonna fight me and then wimp out? Yeah, of course you are. Ah, oh, more supermens. More supermens. At least they're not as bad as my looks. Okay, that is a dude with an explosive, so we know how to handle this one. Take our missile launcher. Shoot the mutant hound. Are you coming? Explodey dude, are you coming? Or are you just gonna. You're like in here somewhere. He's right there. That didn't hit you. Come on. If you hold it armed like that for that long, it should just blow up. Just saying. These are all things that are on my to-do list once the get comes out. <laughs> like, limited grenade ammo for enemies and um, make armed super mutants nuke armed super mutants explode if they hold it for too long without getting to you, you where are you you're like behind this wall now what are you doing what are you even... Okay. <laughs> right. Well, you know what? Fine. Oh yeah. The other thing gonna let people do is equip their, you know, fist weapons while in power armor. Because not being able to do that is ridiculous. Look, I'm not even going to bother looting these guys. I'm just going to... Oh, there's still one alive. Well, I know how to get up there. Been here before. Been there, done that. You are over here. Being a total chicken. Oh, there's two of them being total chickens. Murdered. Yeah, no. That's my job. Okay. Oh, hello. Let's all see what's in here. Oh, come on. No. Good. Got it. South Boy Molotov fragmentation grenade. No, we don't want that. That's just metal. Good. Let's keep going to General Atomics, which is right in front of us. I can see. Because there's a sign and it says General Atomics. Let's go see what robots are up to. 
Now, one thing I am going to try is... I'm going to go in here first without the power armor and see how we do. I mean, we kind of know how we do anyway. Actually, no, that's a good point. We already know how we do. <laughs> we get our asses handed to us. So, let's try this instead. I thought I was being smart, but you know what? No. Yep. Around, all right. Hello. Friends. Oh, there's a friend. Yeah, nice enclosed area though, so. I'm not doing bad damage. I think Ada's helping, that's for sure. Oh, friend. For some reason I can bleed junk bots, because that makes sense. You do your thing, Ada, I want to loot. A Sultron head. Okay. Hi, friend. What's the weak spot on a robot? Particularly on a protector on robot, right? Like, because they don't really have brains. Where's the CPU on one of those things? Did you now? Oh, it's up there. Okay. How do we get to you? Uh, across the assembly line. Across the assembly line is one way. I'll take those. Lots of railway rifle wielding robots. Oh, that one's legendary. S stop that! <laughs> really don't like the one shooting me in the back, that's for sure. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, just keep punching, that's fine. So when I bleed a robot, what am I doing? Am I like... Do I hit a fuel line or something? Yeah. You're dead, and I run. Because every legendary robot explodes. Every last one of them. Chest armor. Useless. I'm still carrying too much. I forgot to go back to the castle. Uh, Robo Brain Tulsa. Okay. Ada, come here. <laughs> Need you to carry more. Ada, where are you going, Ada? Ada, no. Ada, no. Good. Stay there. Don't move. Or come back towards me. That's good, too. Hi. Heads up. Right. Take all the junk. All of it. And these all count as mods? Okay. Take the mods then. That works for me. Yeah. I find it very odd that I can have more carrying capacity outside of... Hey, I got an assault tron arm. Um, I can have, what was I saying, more carrying capacity outside of power armor than I can in power armor. It's ridiculous. Mm, aluminium. I really need to destroy whatever's making that noise. So we can go down. And they are up. Okay. Beep beep. Yes, beep beep. Beep beep. Oh, so much good loot. 
Right. Well, we're going up, so let's go up. Came from there. So we want to go up here. Now I'm above them? Yeah, I'm above them. Okay. Ah. That's how we get in. In an expert terminal. Right. Let's get to it then, I guess. Ooh. Oh hi. Oh, there's, there's three dudes here. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably dead. Stop it. Right. Rubber brain. You have a heavy laser rifle on one of your arms. Yeah, I'm not keen on that. Good thing you're not using it. Oh, I want to get this guy. I don't want to get you, Robo Brain. I want to get rid of the swarm butt. Right. Swarm butt down. All right. Now we can focus on our friend here. And I guess we just punch at the brain because it's a brain bot. But if it's anything like a sentry bot, we might want to actually disable its weapons if we can. Oh, come on. Occasionally gets a hit off with the uh, Assaultron arm. Speaking of, I'm quite badly damaged. Are you going to explode when I kill you? Please don't explode when I kill you. Oh yeah, you can damage things. I saw those blue sparks. You gonna explode? Please don't explode. Don't do it. Alright. Canist device. Right. Don't know what that is. Sentry front hydraulic frame. Okay. Probably a brain. Torso. Steel. Got a pipe wrench over there. I remember our pipe wrench. It was okay for a while. Anything else in here? So we have to give that device to Ada, right? Right after I loot things. Ada is obviously struggling to, to meet with us. <laughs> She's over there, wandering about. Uh, oh, could have got in the other way, right? Or un uh, unless it was locked before. Should have probably done that so that I didn't uh, get myself killed. They've all been looted. Where did you go, Ada? Oh, you. How? Hmm. <laughs> are you gonna drop down, or you're just gonna? Yeah, you're gonna stay up there. Righto. I'm coming. Best pathfinding, 10 out of 10. Look alive. How may I be of service? Ada, did you retrieve something from that robot? Certainly did. Have you seen a robot with a brain like that before? No, but my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. According to my databanks, it's called the Robo Brain. It was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed. But the model never reached full production status. Uh, it had this strange device on it. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Uh, that does not sound good. That sounds like you're going to get hacked. Um. Yeah, hope it's safe. Let's just hope it's safe. I share your sentiment. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until a radar beacon is successfully installed. Okay. You're really heading home the robot workbench, huh? 
So I think we are done here. Although I didn't explore off in this direction. In fact, we never touched this direction. Bathroom. <laughs> this is the other bathroom, yeah. And sealed doors. So if I stick to this wall, I might be able to find out how to get into the room with the sealed doors. Don't think I can pick this. I hope it's not that. Um, ooh, magazine. Hell yeah. Energy weapons inflict more damage. I actually do wonder... Oh, yeah, this is a problem. I really want to keep that with me. I should have left the last minute behind, really. Um, what can I drop? Sturdy armor. Sword by weight. Goodbye, typewriter. Goodbye, aluminium canisters. Be good and all, but. Well, it's sealed on the bottom level, right? So let's check out the bottom level some more. The robot workbench is a powerful tool. Yeah, yeah, you want me to use the robot workbench? I get it. Vote. Chrome. Take. None of those were correct. Where is... Brackets. Here's one. Give me... Uh, maze. Soap. Goes. Nope. Actually, that's not going to work because this is a nov novice terminal and there's so many more words to guess on a novice terminal, so let's do it properly. Stop. Likeness zero. R-U-D-E. Root. Likeness one. So that's probably something that ends in an E. Eat. Like. Yeah. Good. Oh. Could have just gone around the top, I guess, but eh, we're through now. <laughs> department terminal, QA department terminal, security door, open it. And in we go. Welcome to the General Atomics Quality Assurance Department, where we assure your functionality is up to our high standards. Okay. I'm not a robot. Well, I might be a robot. Good to meet you, little Timmy. Well, this is the 1950s. It's either going to be hit the child. <laughs> uh, quite serious. Yeah, I don't like dropping them though. Goodbye, antique load. Uh, or. That's frightening. So it's not allowed by default, but uh, doesn't stop the owner from turning it on. Uh, we got a level. And that level should probably go into medic, as usual. Well, it's not usual, it's usual now. But we can also get armor. Um, but we also know how to cheat the system with armor, so. We could also get science. Science is more fun, especially with this DLC, but we should probably try and stay alive, so. Oh! 
No, we should actually invest in the fourth point of toughness, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, that's something that needs to get done. Well, a crying child, especially a child that's in a cot, is probably hungry, right? So, food. Food. Ah. Food. Large baby bottle. Correct. The child was hungry. Your folk autonomy analysis programming seems to be in working order. Please take this opportunity to reconfirm that any deprecated muffling procedures are not left in your programming. Now please proceed into the third testing chamber. Muffling procedures. Okay. We will now test your hazard detection matrices. Please child proof this environment by moving any hazardous object to where little ants cannot reach. Well, child I already see one room. of them. Wrench. Uh, I mean, the whole thing is a hazard because it's a post apocalyptic scenario, but I don't imagine it's going to be referring to toys. Uh, or a lampshade, which would otherwise actually. This is a dangerous lampshade. I don't think it would be dangerous in normal situations, though. Um, maybe you wouldn't be able to get the fork. Please eliminate any potential tool of said arm. Uh, I don't see anything else. Unless it does mean the toys. Take the toys. No? Okay. Fridge. Oh. You see what was in the fridge? That wasn't it. Okay. Well, why don't we just start taking everything? Get out, better cut, shade, jangles, cut, braxo. Ah, there we go. Are they sure they should be teaching robots that? It appears you are fully functional and ready to return to service. Please take your replacement fusion core from the safe in the hallway on your way out. Is it safe in the hallway? Where is it safe in the hallway? Three fusion cores was all worth it. Let me out. Uh Ada, can you carry more stuff? Or are you overloaded already? Look alive. Work Take the stuff. I do Just to prove a point though, I need to check whether I'm going insane or not. 310 in the power armor. 345 out of the power armor. Yep. Not that much of a change, but... Okay. No, uh, I held down E instead of W. <laughs> Get back in. Alright, Ada, let's go install this thing on you. Okay, I'm back. And uh, I have just done some cleaning up. I've also put Tesla braces on my power armor and was very... Um, sad to see that it doesn't actually do anything <laughs> so there is no actually like energy or anything zipping around my hands oh well so let's install onto ada this device so ada how do we do that head oh we got some like head thing right head laser oh i need more science because of course I do, and I also need robotics expert. It <laughs> makes sense. Um, so we can't do that. We already put the best armor on your head. Torso. Hacking module. Is it in here? It's not in there. 
Left arm is good, right arm. We can now put you with an assault train arm. Hey! <laughs> Uh, did we get legs though? No, we still got the same set of legs. How do how do I install the? Is it in the arms? No. Torso. Assaultron torso. Robo brain torso. Front. Rear. Hacking module. No misc torso. Oh no, that's not what I want. How? How do I even? I'm gonna talk to Ada. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's not what I Are wanted you ready to do. To install the radar beacon? Yeah. Let's do this. It's time. Let's do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench. Just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Now, I guarantee that conversation unlocked what I needed to install. Yeah, we've got a special mods category. Yeah, there it is. That's dumb. Don't make me have to have that conversation to install it. Jeez. Got like a little sticky thing. Hey. How may I be of service? A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Uh... Do you think the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added fail-safes to ensure my location is secure. And prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. I mean, that's good news. one of that will help us determine the signal's source. Oh. So I have to like pick one of them to give up. Either he knows where we are or we allow him to tamper with you. Uh, good start. It's a good start at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Oh. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Okay. And this is important because... I will explain. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routine. So kill two more rogue brains, got it. Uh, let's do it. Alright, let's do it. I'm uploading the location of the robo brain to your pip boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. Cool. <laughs> so let's make sure that that is selected. Head hunting. What do we do for head hunting? We go collect second radar bacon. We go up here by Fort Hagen. Okay. Did you tell us about Fort Hagen? Did I just completely zone out? I think I might have just completely zoned out. <laughs> All right, well, um, unfortunately, we will have to deal with that next episode. So, thank you for all for watching, and next episode we'll go to Fort Hagen, or rather the Fort Hagen Radar Array. See you soon.